Hi everybody and welcome to this month's editorial video where we're talking all about automation. We've adjusted the format a little bit for this video and it's due to the great interest that we've received from our members about this topic so we thought it best to actually have them speak directly about automation and offer some of their insights. Of course we still have the article but this month actually we've got three. Each offer their own individual perspectives on the topic from our members. For the podcast, we've got a great lineup joining us as well. Julie Grieve from Crichton, Alan Nelson from Foresight, and Mattia Zanella from Oki. So make sure that you tune in and listen to that as well. Okay, so let's get started. The dictionary defines automation as the technique of making an apparatus, a process, or a system operate automatically. But what does that really mean for hotels? Automation can offer hotels control over certain operational tasks while optimizing those processes to help reduce costs as well as increase guest satisfaction. And these can include guest access automation for contactless check-in, check-outs, smart app control for in-room functions such as the lights, television, blinds, air conditioning, heating, as well as offering, monitoring and keeping the energy costs at a minimum. On top of that, automation offers the ability for real-time digital requests such as housekeeping, laundry and maintenance services. So with automated notifications, relevant staff can then be notified immediately. These include intuitive employee scheduling and task management functions that optimize the schedules to of course help reduce staffing costs and distribute the workload evenly. Ideally, hotel automation software should integrate with the hotel's PMS to help connect all supporting third-party operational services and functions. So joining us in this video, we've got a great lineup of thought leaders to help give their perspectives on the topic of automation. AI and, and, and hyper automation is becoming uh, really heating up, especially after last year. Uh, we're starting to see, you know, uh, in, in a lot of markets um, that while hospitality and travel is coming back, uh, there's less and less of a talent pool available. People are moving outside of the industry. They're looking for other tasks. And at the same time, um, there's a bigger emphasis on robotic process automation, right? And we have uh, information from the head of research um, at Gartner that was quoted as saying that hyper automation is sort of moved from a nice to have to something that's a matter of survival. Um, now, of course, this is kind of starting in, in large uh, multinational companies doing you know, manufacturing and, and so on, but it is also very applicable to the hospitality world. So in terms of balancing whatever um, can be done in a hotel, um, we have to look at any tasks that can be used to, to free up guest facing staff to engage with guests more, right? Uh, as we shift to uh, automation and robotic process automation, um, one of the things is that we also don't want to lose our core mission as, uh, as hoteliers. So we try to offload those tasks that are you know in the background or or not directly seen by the guests can improve their experience well at the same time we want to use that extra uh efficiency that has been gained by the automation to um to 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 engage with the guests more so Anything that it enhances the guest experience, you can think about VIP recognition or doing something with those special requests that always come in the reservation record and nobody has time to do, like, uh, you know, uh, read through it and figure out what kind of pillows the guest wants or, or if they want to be uh, at a certain location in the property, right? Um, comments in the reservation field also dealing with things like uh, group rfps um, hoteliers tell me that they get so many group rfps that aren't even applicable for their market so pre-filtering and pre-screening uh, a bunch of junk that that normally some uh, human has to dig into um, this is a, a really good topic that can be handled by um, by the automation 
So, um, you know, one of the things that we need to look at when we talk about automating a process is, is the process really good or not? And if it's not, the first thing we have to do is focus on the process, right? Because um, uh, if you have a bad process and you uh, automate that, you're just going to get crap done fast, right? So what we need to do is hoteliers is we need to sit down and figure out, okay, um, I've been doing it like this for 20 years. Is this really the best way to do it? Uh, so if we spend time to focus on that process and get it right, um, there's a lot of process methodologies that can be used, you know, Six Sigma, it's old, but it still works. And having somebody like a consultant that knows how to talk to people that are doing uh, the processes on a day-to-day -day basis and and tease out of them and help them figure out how to uh, do this in an optimized way is probably the first step. And then once you have that process and you know that it works really, really well, then you can apply the automation to it, right? Another thing uh, when we think about robotic process automation is that we should be using it really to enhance the core focus or, or mission of the brand, right? So if your brand position is to deliver the best value for money, then focus on that. Focus on things that um, optimize uh, your, uh, your headcount uh, for your property and, and get that down to the lowest number that, that you need. Um, it, that's going to be a totally different set of use cases for a uh, brand that's to deliver, you know, their position is to deliver impeccable service because, you know, there's a lot of ways that you can use uh, robotic process automation to drive this as well, but you're going to have a different point of view um, than, than the economy hotel, right? So um, improving operational efficiency, uh, diving through tons and tons of data, you know, reservation data or profile data or things like that to pick out things that can help you do hyper personalization, uh, hyper VIP recognition, uh, hyper loyalty uh, applications. All of that is going to be something that would be interesting for, for that type of a brand. Yeah, that's a really good one. And so there's a lot of, uh, you know, one of the things that you're going to have to deal with here, and <laughs> we always sound like a broken record when we talk about this in the hospitality industry, right? But you're going to have to do some integrations if you really want this to be to be good. Um, there's a lot of automation that can be done just with like screen scraping, you know, or, or basically viewing what is on the screen of a user and interacting with documents and, and, and web forms and stuff that way. But there's also a lot of automation that can be done in very, very interesting ways uh, through integrations with uh, reservation systems and property management systems and guest request systems and housekeeping systems and point of sale systems and, and all kind of things that we have in the, in the hospitality industry, right? So um, if we're talking about um, going with something that's generic versus a a built a custom built uh, system for the industry, you kind of have to think of like Amazon Alexa uh, versus the stuff uh, that's done when a hospitality uh, industry company uh, actually spends time uh, thinking about the use cases, right? So. Um, you, you, there's a, a hundred horror stories about hotels just throwing generic Alexas into their hotel rooms and having it be a massive failure versus when you have somebody come in and do um, like a hospitality layer on top of it uh, that understands the, the context and understands the, the guest um, uh, needs and so on. And, and RPA is kind of the same thing. So there's a lot of, uh, big companies that have RPA solutions, like uh, UiPath is a really uh, well-known one, uh, Automation Anywhere, and their people are very focused on like a horizontal play, right? And having somebody that knows what they're doing to, from the hospitality industry to customize those generic systems is probably pretty important. Uh, when you take a look at the market offerings today, there are a lot of companies, services companies that are non-industry specific that are offering 
uh, these types of process automation services, right? And the feedback that I've gotten so far from hoteliers is they're very mixed results. Um, they don't, um, or maybe we say like they lack a bit of the industry context, which is to be expected. I think it doesn't mean they can't work. I did, and 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 I'm a big proponent of these systems because like um, they really work well, right? Uh, but you need somebody that understands the industry to to do the implementation. So wh whether that is hiring a boutique company that that does this type of service, but they come from the industry or whether you say, okay, hey, you're a great uh, horizontal uh, uh, RPA player, but I'm going to bring in some consultant to work with you that understands my industry. Uh, that That's one way to do it. Then there are some systems, you know, that are dealing with specific challenges that we have as an industry. So for example, um, you know, reading, uh, uh, email bookings, for example, um, that's, that's a skill set that, uh, or, or chatbots um, is another one. That's a skill set that is specific to our industry. And there's some very good solutions on the market that uh, that handle that and handle it well, um, because you've got the um, the NLP AI, the natural language processing AI, that's tuned to hospitality specific keywords and is tuned to uh, things around the location of the hotel so that it adds that context that it enables a a smooth uh, interaction with the users because hotels have to deal with uh, so many different types of guests, right? Um, you've got everyone from the uh, um, baby boomers generation all the way down, and they're not very tech savvy, right? All the way down to uh, very tech savvy millennials and, and Gen Z and so on. Um, and they're all going to be using the same system and they're all going to be uh, expecting um, that it works for them, right? So um, these are some considerations that are, are really important. Generally, I would say, though, we need to be concerned about whether the company or person doing the implementing has an awareness of our industry. Automation means a few different things. One is really relieving manual or repetitive processes. Another is adding a machine level reliability to operations. And a third one is smartly handling large guest data sets. All these applications have the same aim and that's to improve the guest experience. So automation really signals the introduction of automatic rules to something that was previously manual and repetitive. What we say really is about taking the legwork out of tasks. Actually, many of us already have some sort of automation rules within our organization. So think about your email marketing, um, your autofill forms or your translation. For a hotel, automation really could look like a ticketing system. It could look like installing a chat bot to answer and escalate queries or requests. Um, or it could be about um, setting up automated, proactive communication for your guests. So other industries have really embraced automation way before hospitality, and we know this. For example, the self-check-ins at airports um, or kiosks at supermarkets that are now the norm. And really since the pandemic, we've seen an uptake in the conversation and real heating up of the conversation about automation. Mainly this is because of the digital uptake that we've all seen as a society. But also it has to be said that hotels are operating on leaner teams, and they've had to work with less resources. And so this really starts people thinking about how to automate and lighten the load in their processes. So apart from being more efficient, introducing automation also means introducing machine level reliability into your processes. So where a human might make an error, a machine will not, as long as it's programmed correctly. And lastly, automation can help assess big data sets and increase understanding. So these are often trends that, again, a human can't see or understand. And automating these systems will give you better visibility on where to improve and where to adapt your processes. It's also interesting at this point to say what automation is not. So automation is not here to replace human service. It's here to enhance it. Automation does not mean forcing your guests that are perhaps not comfortable with using technology to use it. Automation 
is here to offer more options to both staff and guests. And it means those who prefer face-to-face -face interactions have staff that they can actually speak to. <laughs> and it means that those who prefer an automated and quick approach and perhaps are coming in and out of a hotel also have that option. So firstly, it's really important to find the right balance between human intervention and automated processes. And there are many, many ways that you can automate your operations, but it doesn't mean that you need to automate them all at once. Taking it step by step is really important and making sure that everything's very well implemented and functional and that your team are familiar with new processes and procedures. You need to be flexible towards your guests and offer them options like we said. For example, when you implement a chatbot, you always need to have the option of speaking to a live agent for those people who have a more complex case, but also for those people who just want to speak to somebody. Remember that we're always, always opting for technology that's scalable and flexible. So adding in tech that will scale and really ease the strain on your organization, that's the point, and that will run in the background. And ideally, you won't even know it's there. You also need flexible technology which allows you to adapt and fit within your organization's needs both today and tomorrow. And it should easily integrate with the systems that you already have existing. And lastly, the idea is that anything that you implement today will be even more useful tomorrow and will just keep on benefiting your organization and your bottom line. If your staff isn't engaged with new technology, any new technology, then your automation project won't be a success either. And remember that staff, I mean, it's natural that they can be wary because they may perceive automation and these types of technologies as a threat. So it's really important that they understand automation is here to help them through unpredictable situations like a recovery. It's going to be far from linear and automation can allow your staff and your brand to be more agile and more flexible. At the end of the day, hospitality will always be about delivering great guest experiences. And that's what automation is here to help support. One is guest messaging. What a chatbot can do with your guest messaging is automate the responses to those frequently asked questions and deliver instantaneous, correct support when your guests need it, any time of day or night, various languages, and free up the time of the front desk staff and also even your contact centers. Another way that you can use technology is automate your outbound communication. Now this is quite a new area, but it is being talked about more and more. You can automate your communication initiated by you, the hotel, if you want to send out a clear and concise message to your guests. For example, if you want to send out the latest COVID restrictions, you can automate an email, or a WhatsApp message to be sent to all your guests three days prior to their arrival date. And this means that the information that you send them will be timely, it will be correct, and of course, it will increase and improve the guest experience. Another absolutely vital automation tool for hotels is a task management system. Setting up a task management system means that every time a guest request comes in, it enters an automated process and ensures that no one is overlooked. Your tasks can come in from guest feedback, like reviews and surveys. It can come from your guest messaging system or chatbot, or they can be manual, of course. And the tasks, the way they're set up, they're set to go to the correct person, department or work group that can actually deal with them. And you can set time parameters and you can set escalation rules and you can support your business goals and your KPIs. If you structure an escalation process within your organization, it means that if a task um, is met with a deadline and it's missed, management is alerted. And this really allows managers to keep an eye on service levels and also ensure that no guest is ever left hanging. Also by automating these processes, you gain visibility on the root causes of your repetitive complaints or queries. And you can better understand your operations continuously improve your service. Some very interesting insights from each of our members discussing automation. And as always, thank you for watching and your support. Until next time, it's bye for now.